So our sign is mounted on a piece of farm art that that if you drive through anywhere in the Midwest, you'll you'll see all kinds of old farm equipment out and um, old trucks, and that's sort of what we wanted to draw attention to our our sign, but but we didn't want it to stand out like a billboard. And we pulled a permit for about a year and a half ago for uh, a tasting room. We wanted to do events and uh, public events and tastings and. Uh, olive oil education. So we pulled a permit, a minor use permit, and filled out the application and gave him the money. And uh, he said, well, you've got still a violation for your sign. I said, oh, I wasn't even aware that that was an issue anymore. We did all the as-builts. That's when I learned that it needed a setback. Uh, they're calling it a monument sign now. So they told us to move it. <laughs> you look at the asbelts, it's put in concrete <laughs> and rebar. So it's not gonna be real easy to move, but, and we can't move it into the orchard anyway, cause that'll get in uh, the way of our picking equipment when we harvest. It's been almost three years now, and we're, we're really no closer to, to resolution on this. A uh, lot of personnel changes within the county, uh, so it's not the same person all the time telling you what to do, <laughs> and, and, and so they're telling you different things. And every time they have told us to do something, well, we've done it. Uh, we are serious, <laughs> we're sincere about getting this tasting room open. But now it's take the sign down or move it into the orchard. Well, that doesn't work.